My Allure box finally came in the mail and I am super freaking excited for it. Y'all already know, we got the sneak peek. There's some Charlotte Tilbury in his box. I did choose my shade. Hopefully I chose the right shade because that would suck to have gotten like a whole really nice product because of like your own fault. You got the wrong color and now you can't use it. Well, makeup is versatile. So I'm pretty sure you could find a way to use it. Just not in the way that you're intending to use it, that you're wanting to use it, you know, like as a bronzer. This is what she's looking like when you open her up. Uh, no bubble wrap ever. I don't understand why these companies don't put bubble wrap. I think that's like shipping 101, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm asking for too much. So I might as well get the big, big banger out the way. And this is the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. And I think this is a part of the same collection as the foundation I got. I I'm pretty sure that these go hand in hand. So next try on video, I'm gonna have to try this on with her foundation. This packaging is absolutely stunning. I just think this is so freaking pretty. This is what the backside is looking like. Oh. This probably isn't gonna be my favorite. I'm just, right off the bat, I'm already seeing. It says it boosts hydration, skin appears smoother, which is nice. Humidity proof, sweat proof, which are really good things. However, the hydration boost means that this might not be oily skin friendly. We're gonna have to try her out and see. Ooh, this thing is huge, bruh. Look at how big that is. That's a lot of bronzer. This will last you a very nice amount of time. That is huge. And the best part is you can see yourself. Very pretty. I think that is absolutely pretty. We'll see what she look like on the inside. Ooh, yes. Okay, so there's a nice little mirror up here. Look at that. Isn't that just so aesthetically pleasing? Like that actually looks delicious. I'm sorry. This looks like I could just eat it right up. I almost don't want to touch it because it's so pretty. Now, you know your packaging is on point when I don't even want to get into the product because it's just so freaking pretty. I'm going to just kind of go around. Ooh, this is more of like a cream bronzer. Oh, does it say that? Yeah, it does say that. It's a cream bronzer. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, that feels literally amazing. And this is what the color is looking like on my skin tone. It's a perfect match. This is the right color for me. Look forward to that next try on video. We gonna get into this. It makes the box because I'm pretty sure this costs more than $25. Okay, it costs more than $25. The next item that I'm pulling out, it's so fun. It's like a little, it's just like, I don't know why they did this. I mean, I guess so that if it explodes, it'll explode in here rather than, you know, all over your box. So this is the Kerastase, Keras, Kerastase, is that how you say it? Chroma Absolute, what is this? What the hell is this? What? I hope I caught his foolishness in the background. Anyway, <laughs> bro, let me open this up so I can actually see what this is. Oh, mine did explode. There's like a little bit kind of leaking out. So I'm glad they put this in there. Yeah, it's, it's kind of leaked out a little bit, but not too much. Like it's not terrible. It smells weird though. What is this? And I don't have my glasses on so I can barely read it. Oh, okay, there it says. Resurfacing high shine rinse treatment. Okay, so this is a rinse treatment for your hair. I don't have colored hair, but I do plan on coloring my hair moving forward. Maybe in the next month or two, I do want to take these braids out and dye my hair red. I might try this. My hair isn't really damaged, so I don't know. This is exploded, so I can't really give this to anyone. I don't know. We'll see, but this is just like a little hair treatment. It's for somebody, so that's a good thing that they included it in the box because it is for somebody. It might not be for me, but it is for somebody, and it has a weird smell. Like, I feel like I need to wash my hands. The next product in here is so cute. Okay, this is so cute. It is by Frutia. And this is a green grape pore control cream. Ooh, and this is what the little box is looking like. So freaking cute. This is giving Winnie the Pooh vibes. Can you just see little Winnie the Pooh walking around with something like this? This is skincare. This is the Winnie the Pooh skincare line. I think this is so freaking cute. How does this open? 
Okay, so it just like swirls off. That is really nice. Let me see. It does smell like grapes, but look at this texture. This texture is like really soft. Looking at this, I would have thought it would have been a thicker cream, but that's actually very, very soft. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that smells delicious. This literally smells like grapes and it, it smells so good. And it went into the skin very nicely. I rubbed it in. It's not feeling sticky. Like any stickiness that I'm feeling is from that like hair treatment stuff. But this is like a watery cream, I believe. That's what it feels like. And it smells really good. So this is nice. And I think this is K-Beauty. I think Frutia is a, yep, it has Korean on the back. This is a K-Beauty brand, like Tony Moly, very nice. And if this is a really good product, I will buy more. I'm not gonna lie, because this is so, just so cute and itty bitty. Ah! When I'm done with this, I'm gonna put this right up here next to like my cute little miniatures. I think this is adorable. And it actually feels like a really good product. The next item that I'm pulling out is by Bag Bomb. And this is a lip moisturizer with vitamin E. It's like a lip chap, lip gloss situation. Nothing too crazy. I'm not gonna open it right now because there's there's no fragrance. So I'm not gonna be smelling anything. It's got squalene in it. I, I mean, just it's just a lip balm. I'm already working through two separate lip balms. So I'm gonna put this in the corner for later. So once my other lip balms run out, we'll bust this bad boy out. The next item is by Rosie Jane. And this is a perfume oil in the scent Missy. And this is what the little box is looking like. Now I believe this is a full-size product. Let's see what it smells like, because depending on how it smells, I may or may not keep it. I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I can't really, I can't really tell. I'm gonna have to roll it on. If I do give this to somebody, I'll have to give it to like a family or friend that wouldn't really care that I rolled it on my skin. Ooh, that actually smells good. Hold the phone. I actually like the way this smells. Okay, good thing I tried it on and it's, you know, something I could keep, because this actually smells really good. It smells kind of fruity. What are the newts? <laughs> you know, now that I I know the lingo, what are the new? Funny enough, this has coconut oil in it and I really do not like coconut. Coconut is not my favorite, but I don't really smell coconut. Well, I mean, there's a slight little hint, like a little, like, little slight little hints of coconut. It's not too overpowering, but what are the other notes? This smells so freaking good. Feels like butterfly kisses and sex on the beach, bruh. I hate when they name it things, they say it's gonna do things or it feels like things that just literally, it cannot feel like that. How would you know what a butterfly kiss feels like? And then screw it on a beach. What does that have to do with the fragrance? I don't get it. But these are the notes. Frangipani, fr frangipani, green mandarin, coconut, and pineapple. Those went together very well. This is a very nice fragrance. I'm feeling her. I'm gonna have to check and see if Justin likes the scent. If Justin likes it, I'm gonna bust this bad boy out on date night. Gotta smell good for the date night. And the last product in here is something that I'm very intrigued about because if you guys didn't see my other video in one of my mystery ipsies i got a lash and brow serum and i've been using well i have like stuff on now so you can't really see but i've been using it and justin said my eyebrows look a little fuller and you know i got sparse thin sparse eyebrows and he said it was looking a little thicker i only been using it for like the beginning since the beginning of april i'm gonna use it for the entire month of april and see if i see a difference they actually included another lat well not another another for me they included included a lash serum and this is by Grande Lash MD and this is a lash enhancing well obviously serum it says longer thicker looking lashes in four to six weeks 91% saw longer looking lashes 94% saw healthier looking lashes and this is a three month supply so I know this is expensive okay this look like it's expensive I don't know I'm, I'm excited to try this out I wish I had gotten this around the same time that I got the other lash serum because y'all know I would have did a well one side with one and one side with the other to see which one works better. That's what I would have done. Since I've already started using the other one, the Dermalect, I'm not gonna do that experiment. I might have to try that experiment some other time. After the Dermalect is out, I will definitely bust this bad boy out and see what she is working with. And this is what the packaging is looking like. It has a very nice safety, safety plastic, which I love. You know, your girl loves a good safety plastic. That way I know ain't nobody been my lash serum. This is what it looks like. Like very pretty gold. I'm very excited to try this after I get through the Dermalect. And y'all, that was everything in my allure box. 
Now for the prices. <laughs> Are we gonna gag? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. First and foremost, you have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer, and this will run you $58. This right here, $58 if you wanted to buy her yourself. So this is a wonderful deal by itself for the box, which is only $25 and even less money if you buy in advance. Very good steal. The next item is the By Rosie Jane Missy Perfume Oil. Bruh, this little itty bitty thing is gonna run you $45. $45, this also pays for the box. So if you're on the fence of whether or not you wanna sign up, you're getting your money's worth. Every Every single time. Every single time you're getting your money's worth. And this smells actually really good. The next, Bruh. how much is this box worth? I'm gonna have to add this up because this is ridiculous. The next item is the Grand Cosmetics MD Lash Enhancing Serum. You're looking at $68. Oh, it's upside down. $68. This box is busting. I'm just saying, this is a busting box. I don't care how much the rest of the stuff is worth. Those three products alone pay for like damn near a whole year. Well, maybe not a year but a very long amount of time on your subscription box alone if you were to buy those by themselves. That is absolutely wild to me. Now the next product, product <laughs> what are these words? The next product is the Bag Balm Moisturizing Lip Balm, and this is gonna run you $6, okay, $5.99. It was a little for $6, but compared to these other prices we've been looking at, $6 is very affordable. And I mean, lip balm usually lasts a very long time, so you get your money's worth. The next item, is so they don't tell you how much this is worth because it is a sample size but if you were to buy the full size 1.94 ounces that would cost you $24.10 now we got 0.35 ounces this is maybe worth like what four dollars something like that I don't know I'm not a math expert okay I'm not a mathematician do not quote me on that I'm not even gonna do the math I'm just gonna let y'all rock with it okay just rock with it as it is and the final thing is my little busted up Kerastase Soin Ass Acid Chroma Gloss. And this is the deluxe version. Why am I holding like this? It's so weird. Well, I'm holding like that because it exploded and it feels weird on my fingers. So I don't really want to hold it, but I got to hold it. Okay, this is the deluxe version. The full size is 210 milliliters and that one would cost $58. And with this, you have 15 milliliters. I'm not doing the math. This is maybe worth like what? $4? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to guess $4 across the board. Those were the prices. This box was busting and I'm excited to see what they have for us for the rest of the year. And I am gonna sign up for the annual, the annual subscription. Once I, you know, stack a little bit of bread, I'm gonna go ahead and pay for the next year. Cause I love this box. I feel like I'm gonna continue to love this box. I don't wanna keep having that money come out of my pocket every month. I'd rather it just be one lump sum and then I gotta think about it until next year. And I think they give you a free little gift. Well, it's not free cause you're paying, but they give you a nice little gift when you sign up for the annual, the annual box. So I will unbox that when I eventually do sign up. Might be this month or next month. We'll see, we'll see. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.